Welcome everyone, welcome to another episode of Massey, Massey Art, Art Studio. Studio. Welcome back to the studio with us. Yes. Um, I'm super pleased to see you're wearing As am I. Yeah. the Massey Art Studio pin, which don't forget you guys can get your hands on in the free giveaway. Um, follow all the rules from episode 15, but we'll flash them up here for you just in case you've forgotten what you need to do. And if you've already subscribed, you're not going to miss out. So um, let's get you some pins, people. Um, this episode is going to be fun. So in a previous episode, yes, I did a wandering straight pour. It yes. should have been a ring. And you did the straight cup dirty pour. Yes. We're going to swap over. Um, this time I'm going to tackle a dirty, dirty cup and you're going to do a... The wandering ring pour. Maybe you can do the ring that I never did. Because I should have done a ring pour and I, did, I poured mine straight. Well, I guess that's what I'm going to do. I hope so. <laughs> In the moment, I poured <laughs> mine straight, which is very bizarre. Um, thank you, everyone, for all the comments. We've just surpassed 800 subscribers, which in four weeks is pretty awesome. So we're super, super grateful. Yeah, that's amazing. To everyone guys. that's coming watching us. And we read every single comment. Yep. I respond to them, read them to him. We both laugh and then we put yep. a response. It's amazing. So thank you for all your awesome comments. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Um, I am very keen to get painting. Absolutely. So let's do yeah, this. Let's do it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my pour. So um, I have a 20 by 20 gallery wrapped canvas here that's got the tape on the back and we've got our large push pins in. And as you can already see, I've already flooded this canvas. Let me tell you with what colors. So um, the base coat that you can see here is a mix of goldens, titanium white mm -hmm. and goldens Prussian blue. And what I've also got in my pots here is straight Prussian blue. So you can see the difference in the colors. I've got the folk art metallic sapphire, which, which is, is a beautiful color. Stunning. Right? So Absolutely awesome. Absolutely stunning. Not one we've used before. So I'm excited to see how this behaves. Um, I've also got the folk art metallic bright gold. And then we've got the Folk Art Fire Opal, which has been recommended to us by Sarah Mack, and I'm super excited to use it just to see how that one does. And then the last colour we've also got here is the Amsterdam Acrylics Turquoise. So um, these are unusual colours. Um, I've had some warnings about using these colours together um, because some of them might not mix too well and I'm doing a dirty pour. But we're going to give this a go and see what happens. Um, every day is a learning day here at Matthew Art Studios. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> so I'm just going to gently move this canvas to one side so that you guys can see me layer the cup. Okay, so um, I'm going to start with a base layer of the Prussian Blue. So um, it's a 20 by 20 canvas. I've calculated I'm going to need something between like 15 and 17 ounces of paint. Um, however, I'll probably pour a little bit more than what I need anyway, because that's the way we roll. So there's my base coat. Now, in with my colors. The only one I'm gonna be really, really careful with is the Fire Opal, because clearly it's orange, and it could have the tendency to mix with some of the other colors and not come out so great. But orange is my favorite color. Which is the reason why we're using it. <laughs> so <laughs> let's give this a go and see. I adore the sapphire, which is really lovely, and also the turquoise, which is amazing. Let's go in with the gold. That gold is gorgeous. It's the bright gold by Folk yeah. Art, which is just really good. A little bit of the orange. Now let's do some more of the sapphire blue. Let's do some of the turquoise. 
bit more of the gold. A little bit more Prussian. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stop egging me on with that orange. <laughs> final little swipe just for Jeremy. Okay, that is it. I still have some paint left in my pots if I need it, which I may well do. So we'll keep those to one side. All right, let's move this canvas back in view and see what happens next. Okay, so this is a dirty cup. Difference with the layered cup and the dirty cup is clearly you just saw me pour these paints straight in from a high, they've all now mixed within the pot. Um, I'm not gonna hold this canvas too far away, sorry, the paint too far away from the canvas because I really want the layers. I don't want them to muddy, especially with that orange in there. So I'm gonna get as close to the canvas as I dare. Ooh. And I know I have a lot of paint, but that just gives me the opportunity to pour a lot of it off. <laughs> It reminds me of Missoni. The museum? No, the designer. Okay. I kind of got that. I think that's, that's, that's looking beautiful already. Okay. All right. You can see I, I have a lot of paint on this canvas. Mm. Probably about six ounces too much than what I really needed. But like I said, that just means that I'm gonna have the opportunity to pour more of it off. And as I'm tilting the canvas, I can then start to see the bits of the canvas that I really love. Those will be the ones I'll try and keep and all the ones I will try and pour off. So, next to pop the bubbles. I've been told that these folk art metallics like really sell up as well. So there's a possibility that we're gonna get some really, really awesome cells. So far the orange looks like it's behaving, the fire opal looks like it's behaving okay. So far. <laughs> we'll see as we stretch this out. Um, okay, we're gonna do some, some stretches, do some limbering up, do some knee bends. All right, come on, get to it. You're oh, making me nervous. Go. <laughs> okay, so let's first get some paint on the corners of the canvas because then I can start to see the bits that I don't want. Let's take this back to the middle. I'm so desperate for this to come out looking stunning because there's everything that's telling me in my head that we should not have mixed <laughs> those colors together. But I want to prove myself wrong more than anything. Or not, as the case may be. Okay, let's go down to this side. That turquoise with the metallic blue has like created these beautiful like shimmery lines in it. Okay. And let's take this off to the side. I saw those orange, that fire opal starting to anchor and then stretch on that corner. So I definitely wanted to keep it. Yeah, it's definitely opening up. Mm -hmm. waving in the <laughs> sidelines. He's desperate not to lose his beloved orange. I'm like, oh, no, no. But then we do that every time we watch another artist on TV. Like, I, Stop! I okay, I no, it'll be beautiful, actually. I'm 
wonder if I've got enough of that fire opal to anchor it even down here on the other side. Well, once you go to that corner over mm -hmm. there, it's gonna stretch it out nice. It is. I still have an awful lot of paint on the canvas. So I have no problem doing what I'm doing, which is stretching this out. Now coming over to the left hand side. Oh wow. That's pretty amazing. Jeremy, one of the reasons why I know I'm gonna be married to you for the rest of my life is because you say that literally about every canvas. And I love you for it. Well, you know. <laughs> You're I do, I love every, uh, like all of your artwork, it's amazing. Well, you know the feeling is mutual. I just don't like saying it too much. I don't want to give you a big head, you know? Well, that's not going to affect my... Your already big head. My already big head. Okay. Let's, I'm going to just put this down and just step away just ever so slightly. Okay. I don't love this bit. Well, then just stretch it over that that's way. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I think that's a great idea. Yeah. Now I'm just thinking, do I want to stretch left to right, but I don't really want to get rid of this. So I think if I can continue to try and take it diagonally. Yes. That would be what I would prefer to do. Yes. Okay. Good idea. You asked did you concur? You concur, <laughs> sir. Good idea, sir. Okay, right, let's try this. I still have a decent amount of paint, I believe on the canvas, although I'm getting there. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's take it this way first, and then take it this way. I'm gonna lose some of this here on the left hand side, but you know what? I'm not mad about it. And all I'm doing for you, Boo Boo, is stretching out that orange. Let's see. Oh yeah. I'm just gonna go just a tad bit further. Just on this corner. Ooh. Okay, so there was definite method there in that madness. It's, it's amazing how when you first start, you know, what... You end up with something that's completely different. Completely different. Okay, I really don't want to touch this anymore. Yeah. Gosh, I, you know what I really love? I'm digging this turquoise. I'm not going to put my hands over this, otherwise I'm going to drip all over it. But I'm really loving the turquoise with the metallic blue. Um, you just we're getting some really beautiful lines mm. and that fire opal sarah mac mina gosh what a great purchase um we could, we got that on like discount i think it was like a dollar a pot um and it's it's amazing um let me torch this real quick not to create cells just to pop bubbles this is definitely going to develop as it sits i know that for sure I'm going to tidy up my edges with a popsicle stick and then I want to take you in for a close-up just so that you can see what I'm seeing. But um, I really love this composition. It's definitely one of my favorites. I love the cloudy cells and layering. Mm. I am all about this. I think it's beautiful. Okay, that's it. Team, I'm done. Let's take you in for a close-up.
hey guys, it's Jeremy, and I am so excited about this. I am so excited about this. I'm more excited. Well, no, because you're going to have the opportunity <laughs> to do what I should have done the other day, and I know it's going to come out really well. Oh, uh, well, I hope so. That is that is the whole goal of this. So I am using the exact same colors, of course, and uh, just in a different pattern. Uh, so. I think that I should just go ahead and jump right in and get do started. It. So I am. I'm going to layer the cup. And you're going to do how many wandering rings? You're going to try and do two, right? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I can pretty much do that much. That's perfect. Okay. Yeah. All right. I got one cup ready. I'm going to go ahead and get the, or I should wait on the other cup. It's up to you. I'm going to wait on the other cup. I don't want the colors to, to mix. And then we got this great, like titanium, titanium white, and white impression and blue. blue going on here. There's a color by folk art, which is called lullaby, which it kind of is reminiscent of. And it's clearly a lot thinner than the other paints that we've got because it's just an extender. Now, the reason why I put this down is because this is going to serve as the base coat. So that way it'll spread even, uh, evenly and better. Now to the ring. Now for the ring. Let's see here. Good luck. Thank you. I'm supposed to go in circles, right? Yeah, that's why it's called a ring. Which is, which is not what I did. <sighs> okay. I mean, you've got those really beautiful, like folding over each other kind of colors. And the cup is amazing. Yeah, the cup looks really beautiful. How'd you feel about that? I couldn't breathe the entire time I was doing it. <laughs> I don't All think right. I ever sweated so much as I did when we did the episode for Mina. Not for any reason other than I just wanted to get it so right. Yeah. And see, the orange isn't really taken over that much. It, is, it doesn't. It hasn't. That it's called Fire Opal, and I think it just is behaving extremely well. We are very lucky. It's on fire. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and put down my other line of flow extender so that way it can help it move. And then we shall go from there. Ooh, interesting. So you're coming at it from the other side. I am. I love that. I am. And I think I might have to turn it. Yeah, just because you can't yeah. go that way. <laughs> that makes sense. There we go. That way you guys can see this better. Oh, thank you. Could you do me a favor? Yeah. Thank you. Get Prussian blue on you. I know. You got it. All right. So. Here we go, we're off to the races. With another ring. Ta-da! <laughs> Two rings. <laughs> Now, um, just so you know, you've got an awful lot of the sapphire if you wanted to go around. Yeah. I know you don't want to go in the middle because you already said you didn't want to, but yeah. 
This will help it flow, right? Mm-hmm. Sure will. Yeah, this will definitely help it flow. Um, I think I should torch it real quick. Mm -hmm. And of course, if you haven't seen this before, torching takes all of the bubbles that are trapped underneath the paint out. It pops, pops all those. Okay, here we go. I think I'm going to go this away with it mm -hmm. and then come back this way with okay. it. Okay. So let's see here. Let's do this slowly. Wow, you've got perfect amount of paint on there because it's flowing really well. I want to go off that side over mm -hmm. there. Let's come back. This way with it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Man, that is going fast. Mm -hmm. Wow. This is just... Thank you. You're welcome. This is like really coming out really interesting. What's this in there? You might want to get rid of the little lumps that you've got on your painting right now. Do because you have? I do. We, we brought the trusty sweet tweezers. One I think is a bubble. Yeah, I Perfect. got it. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go this way with it towards this corner. Okay. And then back to that corner. Got it. Come on now. Come on. There we go. Now, oh, I want to get rid of all my orange. There we go. And then back this way. The orange is so vivid. Yeah, it is. Still got a good amount of paint on that canvas. I need the tweezers again. Mm -hmm. There. All right. I think I need to go this way with it because I need to take some of this blue off. Okay. Show you some towel for your hands. You good? Almost. Slow but steady. I think... Man, there's a lot of like 
things in this paint. Thank you, thank you. Big clump of something there. Clump of something there. All right, I think I'm done. I'm, I'm in love with this. I love all how it just kind of comes up like this. And then this one is just coming straight down. Uh, it's just like two worlds crashing together. Literally. Literally, not figuratively. I'm so pleased that you managed to keep the orange. I think that looks really pretty on the canvas. Um, and you've got some really great lines on there. I think it's very psychedelic. You know, a lot of my stuff comes out psychedelic. It's because you like bright colors. It's because I love bright colors. Yeah, no, I think it's pretty. So, all right, guys, I hope that you love it. And uh, yeah, let us know in the comments. Let's take you in for a close-up. Yeah, and let's take you in for a close-up. Well, thank you for watching. That Thanks, was guys. our beautiful opal fire, fire in a um, dirty cup and a wandering cup. Yeah. It was really, really awesome to kind of mix those colors together because what's your favorite color? Orange. And it's not my favorite color. So it was really interesting to use it and to see how it came out. Yeah. Those dirty cups are like one of my favorite techniques because it's just, you don't know what you're getting in the cup and then you don't know what you're getting on the canvas and it's like this big reveal on the reveal. I actually did a wandering ring pour. You did? Sorry, yes. I said a wandering cup, right? I think so, yeah. I did, yeah. Double, yes. It was a double wandering ring it pour. It was a double wandering yeah, ring pour. Yeah, which was really beautiful as well. Um, yeah, it was just a really interesting technique. We swapped over yeah. from the video that we did with, with uh, the mean inspiration previously. Yeah. So um, let's take you in for a close up so that you can see them too. Oh, the paintings, not us. No, yeah, not us. No, oh, yeah. okay, okay, yeah. okay. Wow, Lee, this is amazing. This is Lee's piece. Thank you. Um, and it just came out so much different than mine. I did that double wandering ring pour. Yeah. And you did the dirty, dirty cup. cup. Yeah, it was a straight pour with a dirty cup using exactly the same colors as we do. Um, but with the dirty cup, you always get these like cloudy, buttery cells. I love the fire opal in here, which is strange for me to say because I'm not a big fan of orange, but I think my favorite thing about this piece oh, is the turquoise yeah. with the blue um, and the layers that you get through it. Yeah, I'm really excited about this. This is definitely one of my favorite that I've produced with the Dirty Cup. And um, I think with a layer of varnish or a coat of resin Oh my on it, gosh, beautiful. It's gonna pop. I know, what I love also is how your the fire opal on yours came out kind of peachy it did almost, come out peachy but i think it's because i, I didn't love. use enough of it take them in for a little close-up like especially over here in this side you can see I mean, it's not really orangey it and look how that shimmers peachy wow that is so amazing thank you all right guys yeah. that's it that is the fire opal straight pour with a dirty cup okay so this is the dried piece which jeremy did yes. jeremy take us through it Yes. Um, first of all, I love the orange. You guys know that. And I love how this fire opal just stands out like completely. Big ribbons. Yeah. And, uh, and I love all the ribbons, how it goes up and then it gets a little wider uh, through here. And I love the swirling technique that happened right here when the two joined. It's just, I think it's just gorgeous. I think it came out really, really well. And uh, I love it. I think it's really pretty. Thank you.
So there you have it, folks. That was the two canvases from today. Again, just because I messed it up last time. That was a layered wandering cup, double pour. And I did a straight pour with a dirty cup. It's so confusing. I know, it's a lot. So confusing. <laughs> um, All these names. Don't forget the Massey Art Pins. Um, we released the uh, pins for the free giveaway in episode yeah, number 15. Sure did. We've already got about 45 requests in less than 24 hours for the pins. Mm -hmm. But we have a thousand of them, so we have plenty yes. of them to give away. So please don't forget to like, to subscribe, subscribe to and comment, comment, and, and there, share. There, there, there. <laughs> and to share. Uh, please, just to get your hands on one of the pins and then send us an email to the massyartstudio at gmail.com with your address in it. Please don't put your address in the comment section because then you've got like a thousand a people, thousand seeing, people it. seeing it. Yeah. So don't do that. Send us the email and then we're the only ones that see it and then we can send you one of those out. Yes. Um, the pins will be going out in the next week or so. And they're so cute. They are cute and they're great and they're enamel and they're heavy and they're collectible. There's only a thousand of them. I know. Get your hands while you can. Get your hands on one while you can. Um, <laughs> our next episode is another fun one. It is. It is. It's so amazing. You've got some <sighs> weird bloody colors prepared for this one. I do. I do. Um, you know how I love bright colors. Yes, normally. Normally. And this is completely different. It's a departure. It is. It's completely different. And uh, they're... I don't know how to describe them really. It's they're kind of muted. Muted, yeah, muted. But they're, um, yeah, they're beautiful. I think they're beautiful. They are beautiful. And they're great colors. It's just so not like you. Yeah, it's so not like. And me. you're going to do a ribbon pour, right? I am. Which I'm going is to do a ribbon pour. Similar to this yes, one right here. It's very similar to that, which you guys haven't seen dried, but that's the ribbon pour that I poured when you did your reverse flower dip. Yes. Um, so, um, yeah, I'm excited to see what happens. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned, folks. Yes. Because that one's going to be released on Wednesday. And uh -huh. um, we'll see you for that then. All right, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you very soon. Bye. Bye.